Hi, I'm Amanda with BulbAmerica.com. In this video, we're going to review the wattages and the beam angles of the PAR bulb family, and we're also going to discuss the application for each family member. Let's start with the PAR 16. The PAR 16 comes in a wattage ranging from 50 to 75 watts, and its two beam angles are narrow spot and flood. Now, the application that you want to use this for is short distances. What's important is to keep it at a maximum of 15 feet. So you can use them from distances ranging from 5 to 10 feet and its maximum would be 15 feet depending on the wattage and the beam angle that you're using for the PAR 16 bolt. For example, if you want to highlight a table or if you want to shoot into a mirror ball, it's really good for applications like that. And it's not going to give you a very high light output at a very far distance. So you really want to keep it at 15 feet max, but you're going to probably get the best light output um, between 5 and 10 feet. Now let's take a look at the pin spot. So the pin spot has a wattage of 30 watts and it is a super spot. So the pin spot really only comes in one beam angle. It has a very specific use. It has a tight beam and it's used to highlight objects. And you want to use it at distances between 20 and 30 feet. That's where you're going to get the best light output. Now, let's take a look at the PAR 38. The PAR 38 has a wattage range from 75 watts to 150 watts. And it comes in two beam angles a spot and a flood. The distance that you want to use this at is between 10 and 25 feet. And then we have a very close member of the family which is the PAR 46. So looking at the PAR 46 bulb, this comes in two angles, narrow spot and medium flood and its wattage is only one watt, it's a 200 watt bulb and you want to use this at a distance between 15 and 25 feet. Now let's look at the PAR 56. The PAR 56 has two wattages, 300 watts and 500 watts. And in both of those wattages, you have beam angles uh, which are narrow spot, medium flood, and wide flood. And this bulb you want to use at distances between 20 and 40 feet. You're going to get the best light output in between 20 and 40 feet. And last, we have the PAR 64 bulb. This one also has two wattages, 500 watts and 1,000 watts. Now at 500 watts, it has three beam angles, which are narrow spot, medium flood, and wide flood. But at the 1,000 watt, you have a very narrow spot, a narrow spot, medium flood, and a wide flood. So you want to use this bulb at a distance between 20 and 60 feet. Or if you're using a 1000 watt, you can use it at a distance of 75 feet, but you don't really want to go farther than that. 75 feet is quite a long distance, um, but at your 1000 watt, that's when you would be able to, to still get a pretty good light output at that distance. Now, I hope this cleared up any questions you guys may have had about which bulb should I use for which application. Um, it really depends on your wattage and your beam angle. So we do have another video about how wattages and beam angles affect the light output of a bulb. And you want to take a look at that one because it will really help you to understand uh, visually what the light output looks like depending on which bulb you're using.